Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Pickleball Pick Apart, where I take pickleball games off of YouTube and I critique the players. Watching my videos will help make you a better pickleball player. By the way, my name is Rory. In this video, a match played at the APP Daytona Beach Open. It was posted on YouTube by Team Hanlon Pickleball. They have in the title of the video that this is a match played at the 4.5 level. At the 4.5 level, pickleball is played with little effort. It is played effectively and with very few unforced errors. Points are earned by hitting consistent third shot drops or third shot drives, resets into the kitchen, excellent athleticism, reflexes, and hand-eye coordination. It is not beginner pickleball. It is not intermediate pickleball. It is 4.5 pickleball, which I consider to be advanced pickleball. So let's see how these 4.5 players do. Let's go. So here are the players. It did not say their names in the listing in the video. I'm assuming her name is Kinzer. I don't think his name is Vulcan, but I'll call him Vulcan anyway. I think that's probably the paddle he's playing with. Over here, the guy in the blue shirt and the girl in the blue shirt. So let's go. Nice. Try to hit a third shot drop. Didn't quite make it. Got the fifth shot reset. Just dinking here very nicely. All right. So what happened there? It's very clear what happened. They were doing a very nice job dinking here. All of a sudden, they hit it to the guy. And he gets a little bit impatient, said, let's go ahead and end this point, tried to speed things up, and he hit it right into the net. Again, just be a little bit more patient, wait for a better opportunity. That's an unforced error. That ball was hit out for another unforced error. Here we go again. Another unforced error. Let me say that I have a difficult time saying error, so I'm just going to say an unforced E. That was a very interesting point that I think deserves taking another look at. Let me show you exactly what happened here, and I'm not understanding why this did happen. So watch as this ball is hit back. There we go with a, a drop, a very, very nice third shot drop. What that does it gives the player in blue here, the female, enough time to get up to the non-volley zone to hit the fourth shot. This younger guy right here should get to the non-volley zone as well. But watch what he does. Look where he is poaching this ball from his partner. There was no reason for him to do that. This is billed as play at the 4.5 level. That means this girl right here is good enough, but for some reason he went all the way over here, almost out of the court on the other side to get that ball. Again, totally unnecessary. If Vulcan sees that, look at the open court right here. All he has to do is hit this ball over here. He will win the point and it will be all because the guy in the blue moved way into his partner's court. And instead, another unforced E. Three opportunities, three unforced E's. Third shot drive, reset. All right, doing pretty well here. Oh, what happened there? Now that little drop that Vulcan hit into the kitchen was really not that high, but the female player in blue was able to hit it right at him, and actually the ball she hit was going out of the court. Vulcan stuck his paddle up and hit the ball out the other side of the court. So Vulcan should have gotten that point. Instead, he made the mistake of hitting a shot that was above his shoulder and hitting it out of the court. And just here it is one more time. Boom. Yep, that would have been out. Instead, he hits it out. Another unforced E into the net.
Try to two-handed backhand and hit it right into the net for another unforced E. That ball was hit out. Now, it's always, I thought, a good idea to hit the return as deep as you possibly can to keep your opponent back. That time, she just hit it a little bit too far. Now that serve was not hit into the court. It went into uh, the other side of the court, which of course is not a good serve. So I'm just going to stop right here and make a couple of observations. So far, there have been eight opportunities or eight exchanges. Out of those eight, seven of them were unforced errors. That's right, seven out of eight. Again, this video is billed as being played at the 4.5 level. I can tell you right now, because of seven out of eight unforced errors, it is not 4.5 level play. Nice return. And another shot that was not hit over. That's really not her fault. That was the very first um actual earned point in the game a good deep return by that guy and there we go again another unforced e that he could just not get it across the net on the return again not 4.5 level play that return was hit into the net as well Trying to reset it, trying to reset it, can't do it. They let him get back into the point. And she ended up hitting it out. So let's go watch that again. Again, if this was 4.5 level play, none of this would have happened. Here's the serve. Here's the return, a very nice return. He tries to hit a third shot drop. She tries to reset it, can't. Now they're having to defend. There's no way the team in blue in the far court should have won this point. It should have been put away three or four shots ago. And what does she do? She hits it out of the court for another unforced E. And they're frustrated. They know they should have won that point, And they have called time out. Let's see if they're able to settle down. Third shot drive, able, almost able to get it out, not really another earned point. Of course, that was put into the put away zone and a first grader could have put that shot away. Another return of serve that the player could not get into the court. And there is a third shot drive attempt that was hit into the net for yet another Unforced E. Right into the slam zone. Got it back. Nice get. There you go. And he had a simple, a very simple put away. But what does he do? The younger guy in blue, he hits it out of the court for another unforced E. Yet another. Here we go. That's not going to work. Oh, this is like, uh, can he get to the net? He got to the net. That was fantastic to get to the net after defending all of those balls. But what does he do? He finally gets an easy shot and he hits it right into the net. Third shot drop. Look at this. Let's look at this again. Why is this younger player doing this? Does he just not have any confidence in his partner? There's the third shot drop. Excellent. Now look where he is. Look where this ball is. Vulcan almost hit this ball out. It hits in the very corner of this court here, which is her court. His court is right here. But look what he does. This is for lack of a better word, totally ridiculous. Actually, that is two words. You've got to give your partner 
the benefit of the doubt here to get this ball because what's going to happen once again this court right here is just totally open this is a tremendous mistake by this player here maybe he's just trying to be a macho young man let's see what happens yeah it, that's so simple it's like first grader could do that I just don't understand why that young man would do something like that totally unnecessary had the perfect opportunity to hit it at Vulcan's feet what does he do he hits it out Here we go. Nice third shot drop. That's a good get. Young kid has a lot of athleticism. And another unforced E. 4.5 players would not make that many errors. And there's another one of hitting the serve out. And right into the net, just not able to get his backhand over. Why did that happen? Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here is the return. It's a decent return. It's not all the way to the back line, but deep enough to where it forces Vulcan to be moving backwards when he tries to hit this backhand, and he just he can't do it. Another unforced error by Vulcan, and let's show you how easy this should have been. Here we go. Look where she is. She's not able to reset the ball, so she cannot advance to the non-volley zone. All that Vulcan has to do is keep her back or perhaps just hit a little dink shot that she would not be able to get to at an angle. Again, all he has to do is hit it at her feet and keep her back and watch what he does. He hits it out. And they're going to touch paddles there or give each other a high five for hitting the ball out. Nice serve. Another unforced E. If you can't get the return back a number of times on some very easy to return serves, I'm sorry, but you were not a 4.5 pickleball player. All right, let's watch what happens here. Um, nothing special about this point. Here we go. Here comes the third shot drive. And this shot is hit way, way up here into her put away zone. If you were here at the non volley zone and someone hits a drive like that and it's above your shoulder, all you have to do is turn away and let the ball go out. Instead, she chose to slap it back at him and she hit it out of the court. Again, here we go. I want you to see how high this ball was hit. Here we go. Boom. 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 There it is. I'm almost certain this ball would have been out. And she hits the fence in the back for another unforced error. And that is the game. So, you know, again, if you look at the title, it's right here at the top. Gold medal match mixed 4.5 19 plus pickleball at APP Daytona Beach Open 2023. So obviously there were a number a number of teams in this bracket and this was the gold medal match. Was it really? Bar court team wins 11 to 3. So there you have it, 4.5 pickleball. What do you think? Here are the statistics from the match. 26 exchanges are opportunities, 22 unforced errors. 12 balls were hit into the net, 10 balls were hit out of the court. Out of those, seven returns of serves were not successful. So out of 26 exchanges, only four were earned. The only thing consistent in this game were unforced errors. So my question is, why are these players playing at the 4.5 level? Are they choosing to play up 
because what I witnessed and what you witnessed as well is this is obviously not 4.5 pickleball play. This is not 4.0 play. This is not even 3.5 play. This is pickleball played at the 3.0 level. I mean, could Team Hanlon Pickleball made a typo when they put 4.5 in the title of the video? I think they probably did. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think of the play in this match. So that's it from Pickleball Pick Apart. Again, my name is Rory. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, I hope you take the time to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be noticed when I post a new video. That's it. See you next time on the courts.